Well, you know, he was saying some things that implied that he was stepping forward into the right direction for gun safety in this country. And then he had a meeting with some NRA officials, a private meeting, and afterwards he came and claimed that the Second Amendment was under siege and he was going to defend it. So as to whether or not the NRA meeting changed his views, uh, that's kind of up to speculation. But I will tell you, that is hopefully the first Russian-funded group he has met with. And I would like to say, I think it really shows what he's doing right now, proves where his heart and his wallet are, and that's in the exact same place. One of the interesting things I thought Trump brought up was how we don't talk about mental health, yet in one of the recent spending bills that they had, they cut mental health spending for schools by over $25 million. That doesn't sound like improving the mental health care system for schools to me. Cameron, you know, uh, when, when the president uh, was in that meeting with Democrats and Republicans, uh, he castigated some of the Republicans, saying you know, you're scared. Uh, you're scared of the NRA. Do you believe today he showed that he is scared of the NRA? I think he is very interested in the money that the NRA will bring him, and that the NRA, in turn, gets from gun manufacturers. You know, the gun. The NRA used to boast itself as being an average Joe co coalition of Americans who are trying to protect their Second Amendment rights, and now you'll see that they are getting a lot of kickbacks from gun manufacturers. So I don't necessarily think Trump is scared of the NRA. I think Trump is very enamored with the financial support that the NRA gives him. I think the people in the situation that are really scared would be the NRA. This is the first time that they've had the president and the vice president at the same time come out to the uh, annual convention for the NRA. And I think what they're seeing here is like they're, they are very worried because of the support that we've been getting and the support that we're going to have in midterms. Because like it or not, we don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. If you're supported by the NRA, you don't stand with the kids. You stand with the gun manufacturers and the people that are trying to make money off this fear and tragedy that is perpetuating itself.